Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Twitch, their current drama with DMCA's and how that could and is most likely going to be affecting you if you stream on the platform. Okay, so what is a DMCA? A DMCA is like a Digital Millennium Copyright Act, which is the, the law that is not exclusive to, but it's mostly for online sources like YouTube and Facebook and Vimeo and Netflix and all these other major streaming platforms. It also applies or applied to Mixer and Twitch and Facebook gaming and YouTube gaming and all of these other live streaming services. Now before we go any further, I'm not claiming to be an expert, uh, but I am a music producer who does distribute music to the streaming services that would come under copyrighted music that gets sent out to other stores. I'm also a streamer on Twitch, so I think I've got a perspective here that I'm on both sides of it and I want to break down how I feel about this and what could happen going forward for the platform. So the VODs used to be completely muted in the past if there was any copyrighted music. So since then they've changed the way that the VODs work because only the portion where the song is actually playing is going to get muted. Which for the streamers, I mean, that's great. If anything, they've lowered the repercussions of using copyrighted music on stream. It doesn't take you down while you're live, nothing like that happens. It only affects your VOD, your video on demand afterwards. I think it would be fair for the streamer to interpret that as a slap on the back of the wrists, but nothing more until the last week or so. So a strange example would be games that have licensed chart music. So in at the end of Borderlands 3, there is an Alicia Keys song, I believe. And this is part of the game. This is part of the game itself. You will get claimed if you watch the end sequence, the very end credits, with this song unless you mute it. However, how were you supposed to know in advance that that song is going to be there and how do you work around this? It's a very touchy subject for streamers. If you're playing a game, you're kind of in the zone, so you don't really want to be thinking about pausing it to go to options and then change the music volume to zero and if you do that you might end up skipping the credits by trying to avert that so it's either you have it with no volume at all you just turn it off from your platform like obs or you watch it and risk getting taken down another example would be say gta which has a ton of licensed music this is all like sort of mainstream chart music or you've got more obscure things but some of these songs on there are so huge they'd get picked up in a second by the sensors that actually detect the music. It's essentially the same thing as Shazam, except it's for businesses to detect when their music is being licensed when it's not supposed to be. So I'd like to say this has all came to light recently from Twitch, but in fact it didn't, not first. Twitch weren't the first ones to come out to say this. The reason why everyone found out was through Twitter and other places like that, like Reddit. Um, it was the people that were actually getting copyright claimed and getting DMCA takedowns that were reporting this and then after the fact Twitch comes along and says this is what's happening now, we're sorry, this is the way it has to be, which I guess is fair enough. I mean, if we're playing copyrighted music, then you know, you know, if we if we have Spotify open and we're just going through our standard like songs, I think you can expect that to, to bring some red flags. Um, let's go back to where I was saying about gaming on Twitch and it's the biggest by far category. It's the reason that most people visit Twitch. If you're playing a game, in-game copyrighted music like GTA, I mean, that is a difficult situation enough as it is. Are you supposed to just have the radio off? If that's the workaround, I guess that's fair enough. But when it comes to DMCA's now, it's including game soundtracks. As in, if I'm playing Final Fantasy VII and the sensors detect the music, I will get a copyright claim for this for playing the music within the context of the game on stream. This is a massive problem. And that's not even the worst part. Recently, there has been so many claims that not only songs from the official soundtracks of games, so Final Fantasy VII, have been getting claimed, but also sound effects found within games are also being claimed. This makes it incredibly difficult for streamers. If the sensors detect these sound effects, you could get a copyright claim for this. It's not even just you could, so many people already have. 
An example of this was there was a police siren in the game Persona 5 that someone was playing on stream. They were just playing the game because the police siren was part of a, a sound effect pack that was licensed by the game developers to use for the game. But when it comes to actually playing the game on stream, that is a copyright offence and they are allowed to take this down. There was someone who was playing Hitman Blood Money and there was insect sounds in the background from a sample pack that the developers would have paid for to use in the game and streamers cannot use this on stream, they cannot play games on stream with soundtracks, uh, other copyrighted music or sound effects. This is to suggest that the only way to safely stream is to mute the game audio completely. So a workaround that I've seen people doing is a workaround, but it's not a legitimate workaround. It is to turn down the game volume and turn up your own microphone so you mask the sound of the soundtrack enough to throw off the sensors. This still doesn't stop the issue though, because yes, it hasn't picked it up, but you're still technically breaking their laws. So this is an even bigger issue. What is the resolution here? So Twitch have came out and said that you need to delete your old videos. They did this. However, people were deleting their videos and still got claimed for it, regardless of deleting their videos or not. And they only gave people three days to do this. So they gave such a small time span, and even if people deleted the videos within that time span, they still received DMCA claims after it. That is a fundamentally broken system that is currently what we have to work with. So to summarize, so you can't play officially licensed music like pop artists, popular artists in general. You can't play official game soundtracks, which might be even just part of the game audio. You'd have to mute it, according to Twitch. You can't play sound effects because of where they're originally sourced from, so you're not even getting claimed because it's in a game. You're getting claimed because the creators of the sound packs have copyrighted it. So it's not even because you're playing the game. It's because the game used the soundtrack, and because you're playing the game on streaming, because they used it in the soundtrack, by some third-party company who made a sample pack, you're getting claimed and potentially banned on Twitch for doing that. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. But to see it from the other side, I can completely see where Twitch is coming from. This is something that has been missing from their service for such a long time. I think everyone's grown to the fact that copyright laws on the internet are becoming more and more appropriate. Twitch is only just catching up with this properly, but they're going too far with this and they need to make some adjustments because if you are playing sound effects from a game and it's going to get you banned, then you're going to lose your entire audience. I think it's only a matter of time before they start copywriting videos too on Twitch. Same as YouTube, if you have music video footage in your video, even if the sound is completely muted, it picks it up and it can register that this is from this music video and we're either going to take all of your revenue for this video or we're going to get a takedown claim on you for, your, for you using our content. So I guess the takeaway from this is what do we do next with Twitch? Are they going to loosen the leash or are they going to work out a copyright agreement on Twitch specifically for that platform? Because there's definitely exceptions when it comes to copyright laws. There are things that are exempt, there are rules for one thing and rules for another. The copyright laws that apply to Netflix or Amazon Prime Video are very different than the copyright laws that apply to YouTube and all these other video platforms that anyone can upload to. So it's a lot to think about. I'm interested to see where Twitch goes next with this, see how they respond to this. This at the moment is a little bit of an uncertain period for streamers, I think. Um, but there's been things like this in the past, so hopefully this will just blow over or they'll work out agreements properly with the licensing companies to get this at a more acceptable level where people won't have their VODs taken down for using sound effects. But yes, I think we've discussed this more than enough now. Um, if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Um, leave any comments down below. I'd be really interested if you've had a takedown yourself or your opinions on the matter. I would love to know, so just leave it down below. Anyway, until next time, dudes, take it easy.